It's time for Ryan's Roses. Tubbs, is everything okay? You're on your feet. Good. Everything's good? Yeah. I'm going to do Ryan's Roses. Are we broadcasting? We are. He was up, leaning over my counter. I thought maybe there was a transmission issue, but I'm told we're good. Dear Ryan and Sissini, we were charging our ring doorbell. It was plugged in on the desk next to the kitchen. I got an alert in the middle of the afternoon when no one should be home. Well, well, well. Let's get to Lauren and Fullerton about that. So, Lauren, thanks for coming on. When you got the alert in the middle of the afternoon, what were you alerted of? What did you see? What did you find out? Yeah, so we were um, we were charging the ring doorbell, mm-hmm. uh, and you take it off every once in a while. You give it a charge, and it was plugged in on the desk next to the kitchen. So... It was the middle of the afternoon, and I get this alert on my phone that the doorbell goes off. And no one should be home in the middle of the afternoon. The kids are at school. We're both at work. Right. So, And I knew it was charging. So it kind of freaked me out. So I turn on the app, and I watch about 30 seconds of the video recording. And the video just saw the desk because it was laying on the desk. But the audio... I heard it, it really shook me. It was, um, I heard high heels walking across our tile floor. I know that I heard it. And then right before the video ended, I heard my husband say, I'll be right up. So mm-hmm. he was home and he was talking to somebody and I heard high heels. Like I know that I heard that. So I I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt and, I, and it freaked me out. So I went back to work, and then later that day, I went back to watch that video again, and I I wanted to make sure that I heard what I heard, and it had been deleted. Wow. He deleted the video, like, and trust me, I wanted to confront him about it, but but I I kind of don't even want to know, like, I... Well, my I'm, my I'm heart nervous. sinks a little bit after. So, you sure it wasn't just automatically erased due to time or something? No, it doesn't do that. Mm-hmm. And I and we us two are the only people who have access to the app. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let me hold on one second. Let me get organized here, and we'll call your husband. Find out high heels, and she says, or he says, "I'll be right up." She's yeah. already upstairs. Is that right? It's not great. All right, it's time to make the call for Ryan's Roses. Lauren says that she found on the Ring doorbell tape footage of a woman in high heels walking across the floor, and her husband saying, I'll be right up. Hmm. Then she went back to see it again, and it was gone. It's like he knew. So he he knew it was there, and he caught it, but he doesn't know that you've seen it yet, right? No, he. I assume that he deleted it. All right, let's find out oh, no, what this think... cover-up is all about. I need you to say, Ryan, you my permission to call, and then his name on KISS FM. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. We're going to call him right now. Stay very quiet. We want to find out who he sends the roses to and what he puts on the card, okay? Okay, thank you so much. And stay quiet until we tell him he's on the air. Here we go. Good luck. Hello? Hi, is this Ken? Yeah, speaking. Hi, Ken. I'm calling from Full Blooms in Fullerton. We're a new flower shop on Chapman. How are you doing this morning? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for asking. My name is Jill, and the reason I'm calling is because we're offering a promotion for local residents to send free roses to anybody that they'd like. They're absolutely free. I don't need any cash or credit card info from you. We just hope that you promote us for friends and, to friends and family. Yeah, that that this is perfect. This works great. And, okay. Uh, I just need the God name. Works, works in mysterious ways. Yeah. Um, I need uh, the name of the person you'd want to send them to. Yeah, I, I want to send them to uh, to my wife, Lauren. Okay. And uh, could you put a note that says uh, something like, uh, "I love you as much today as I did six years ago." I love you. As so, much. Ken, it's Ryan Seacrest. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. Are you sending those out of guilt? Oh no! I mean, I I love my wife. Uh, I, you know, I just want to send her flowers. So I'm going to tell you, your wife is on the phone. Ken, and she told us that you had some company. Who was over at the house in high heels? Uh, nobody that I'm aware of. I don't know what, what you're talking about. Well, Lauren, please do the honors in revealing what you found out. Ken, okay, I'm, I'm sorry to do this, but who who was there? Why did you delete that video from the Ring app? 
I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I think the videos the erase automatically when you run out of memory. No. Mm. Ken, Ken, it's the app on the phone. You, you know. Come on, that doesn't erase automatically. Why did you delete that? Uh, uh, can we not do this like this? Can we not do this Ken, right now? We can. And there was a woman uh, in the video. There was a woman. I heard the high heels, and I heard you talking, and I need to know why there was a woman in the house in the middle of the day. Uh. I can't. I can't talk like this. I mean, I, I can say you know it's over, but I don't want to talk. What do you mean? What's over? Person. What's over? Who is that? This this is ben. weird. I mean, uh, you can't trust those the Ring app. It's you know it so runs out it, of memory. So what Ken, are you, what, are you, what are you talking about? The video evidence is there. We heard it. We saw it. So who was over? And why were you going upstairs to meet with them? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I mean, I have to see what whatever you know video you've seen, but well, I, I erased it, Ken. I didn't erase anything. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Ken, oh. did you did you take the ringer down so I wouldn't see? And did you delete that video because you're hiding something? I need you to tell me. I didn't. I didn't delete anything. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Wow. Ken, it's not sounding um, convincing. It must have been a mistake. Uh, yeah, it's not sounding convincing. You're lying, Ken. Uh, this must be some sort of misunderstanding. I don't know what what happened here. You said but, it's uh, you said it's over. What does that mean? Nothing. I think I should be able to discuss this with my wife. You know, in, in person directly. This is uh, you know not not what really the, the way it should, it should happen. Ken, what is there to discuss? There shouldn't be anything. What do we need to talk about? We can talk about it right now. I just think we, this sort of thing is better in person, and, uh, you know, I didn't... What sort of thing? Exactly. There's nothing to explain here. Mm. Okay. Ken, I'm not convinced. Uh, Lauren, I think you have a real issue. I yeah. mean, you obviously saw the video. You heard what you heard, so don't let him convince you otherwise. I'm going to let you both go. I wish you good luck. and hope you get to the bottom of it, okay? I mean, guys, yeah. uh, nice. I don't know what you're talking about. That sounds very unconvincing.